Hello everyone, in this video I will introduce the procedures to recover the router when it is in an abnormal state due to the firmware corrupted. In normal condition, egg LED will flash once every second to indicate the router is operating normally. However, when the router firmware is corrupted and place the router into an abnormal state, the router will go into a TFTV download mode which is indicated by three left LED splicing. First, we need to plug the internet cable to the router's LAN port. Because under abnormal state, router is unable to assign IP address to PC, we need to manually configure the PC IP address under network connection setting. Type 192.168.1.100 into the IP address field and 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask and 192.168.1.1 as the default gateway. Then click on OK. Then the next step is to power off the router. Use the pointed object to press and hold the reset button, and while holding the reset button, switch on the power and wait until the three LEDs on the left side flashing again. Then open the firmware upgrade utility on the PC, and type the router default IP 192.168.1.1. Select the firmware file. and then type the default password ADMIM and click send. The firmware upgrade utility will check the setup and send the firmware to router. It may take several minutes for router to download the firmware and don't power off or reset the router during the waiting. Wait until firmware upgrade finished and the router active message pop up. The egg LED now flashing once per second means the router is back to normal again. Now let's try to open the router's web page at 192.168.1.1. We can access the page means the router is now working normally. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website at www.draytech.com.au or email us at sales.draytech.com.au.